thanks for your time. Good evening, Brian. Very good to be talking it to you. It looks very white there. Where are you? It is white. I'm very near the North Pole, Brian. I'm. Uh... What are you doing there? Well, I'm with Foreign Affairs, Brian, and we're up here just looking at a few regional issues. You were up there last year too, weren't you? I was, yeah. We had a bloke up here last year who was looking for a temporary work visa in Australia. That's right. He was a seasonal worker That's or something? That's right. He was, uh, he was a self-funded retiree, Brian. Just wanted to go down there overnight, but he did have some animals. Did he get his visa? He did. We fixed that up for him, yeah. And what is it this year? Same problem? No, same bloke, incidentally, but no different problem. He, What's this, his problem well, this the, year? The man is in the business of seasonal gift delivery, Brian, and obviously he works to a very rigorous schedule. What's the difficulty here? Well, we're trying to work the schedule out. The delivery needs to be done on a certain date. So what's the problem? The date, Brian. The Prime Minister of Australia has assured the public that it will happen on that date. If Tony Abbott says it's on the same date, it's on the same date. I mean, he's the boss. Right, but he's also said it's going to happen two days earlier, Brian, three days later, and on the second Thursday in July. Haven't the gifts been ordered? Well, Mr Abbott says people have only heard them being ordered. They heard them being ordered? That's what he says, yeah. But they haven't been ordered? That's right. So the population of Australia has got a hearing problem? I beg your pardon, Brian. You'll have to speak up a bit. Is there an actual minister with courage of this? Well, yes, there are two, Brian. Christopher Pine has ruled out the possibility of this delivery happening at all. Well, how, how could the gifts arrive if there's no procedure for their yeah, delivery? I don't think he's opposed to gift delivery per se, Brian. So what did he say he was scrapping the delivery system? Yep, there's an inconsistency, no question. Well, who was the other minister with courage on this? Well, the this? other one is Scott Morrison, Brian, and he's released a statement. And you've got a copy of that? Yeah, this statement is to the effect that insofar as this is not a statement, this is a statement to that effect... The man standing next to me is in the military. Well, where does that leave the bloke that's got to deliver the gifts? Well, I'm <laughs> waiting for a, a message. I've got an app on my phone, Brian, that alerts me whenever there's a change in Australian government policy. Well, that'll be handy. Yeah, it went off 12 times on Friday. 12? Why 12? Oh, well, Joe Hoggy was trying to sell Grain Corp. And what happened? Well, Barnaby Joyce introduced him to some farmers. Hadn't Joe Hockey met any farmers before? No, he met a lot of reporters previously, but no farmers. I bet he knows a lot of farmers Plenty now. Plenty of farmers now, Brian, yes. They won't let him out of the truck. Well, thanks for your time and have a good Christmas. Here it comes now, Brian. New Australian policy on Christmas. What is it? Easter. Just wait a minute, Brian. There'll be another policy along in a minute. There always is.